so much for having us. I just want to say that everybody's been talking about you on this carpet and how wonderful it is to work with you. Oh, good, good. How is it like to work with such an interesting, talented, young ensemble of actors? And Melissa Leo, I am impressed. I mean, you always impress me, but Melissa Leo. Yeah, we have an incredible group of actors, and they're all, I'm certain, going to be here, which all very rising stars. Melissa Leo is someone I worked with on two other short films, so the caliber of actors range from Academy Award nominated Melissa Leo, who won the Disney Spears Award, to Savannah Wilhelm, who is a bright new talent from Alaska. She came out here for the premiere, and I think that everyone who sees the film will be delighted by the performance and all of the performances, which is honestly and We're all really proud of the work that we did together. We all, you know, we were collaborating to find something for every 13 year old girl to 18 year old woman so we could have someone to look up. To really, and I feel like there's so many male figures to relate to it in the movies, but to have a girl who's an adolescent experiencing all of the problems you experience when you're 13, kind of a your movie is the talk of this festival. It's like, I don't want to compare it to anything. It's incomparable, but it's like this year's Juno. You know, how does it feel like to be a part of this? You're very hardworking, but it must be nice to finally get the kudos for all your hard work. You come from an indie background. It must be nice to get acknowledged. I think for all of us, it's very gratifying. Because we did really, really long days. She learned how to speak Spanish. Oh, uh, that was sign language. Sign language was too hard, but strawberry, but the Spanish was difficult. Yeah. All of the kids were in summer camp. How is it like to work with a woman director? A young woman director? <laughs> oh, the first director I've worked with. Oh, wow. First anything I've done. So, so this is your debut? I guess so. So have you done television, commercials, theater? Wow, so you're, this is literally your yeah. debut. Amazing. And you must have done an exhaustive search, Susie, to find this, this Yeah, gal. we actually, we sent uh, an email to the 13 Trump councils in Alaska, and they dispersed it to their shareholders. And then eventually, somehow the email got Savannah, and she posted herself up on YouTube, like lots of other kids in Alaska who really wanted to maintain the integrity of this being an Alaskan native story as an Iranian-American filmmaker. I know how frustrating it is when I see someone who is not Iranian cast as a part yes. of like, Really? There are so many talented people from different backgrounds, like at least respect the culture if you're going in to like investigate someone else's world. So. And with your background as an Iranian American, how is it like to write about somebody and, and direct a film about somebody that's from a different cultural, like a different minority in Alaska? Like, what, it must have been an interesting parallel for you. Well, it was certainly a parallel. I didn't want to do something that was literally autobiographical, but I felt like I there was like pieces of you in it. Up in upstate New York, where there was no other Iranians, everyone was calling me Indian. I was like, I'm Iranian, but everyone's like, it's the same as India. It's just very oh. frustrating, which I'm sure also as an Alaskan native, it's like no one knows what people from these different cultures look like, and the assumptions are just very. Yeah. You look Swedish. Yeah. <laughs> You found your match. For yeah. The film. Yeah. Yeah. The only experience I've had is a little character in a seventh grade play called Madame Kenobi, which had like three lines, five lines at max. But I think it's good that it's an unknown actress because you're finding your way, and it's kind of like it, it, it's it's good that way. I think it you learn more about the character. Whereas if it was some nanny person, you'd be focused on the nanny person. I get to focus on you and your performance as this young teenager. And what was it like working with all these young for both of you, with all these talented young actors? I get a great energy. I feel like I'm yeah. 18 again. It was. It was amazing. And seeing them now, like after all this has happened, all of our hard work, and it's, I'm so proud to work with all of them. It's lovely. And you're absolutely Actually, lovely. I'm so looking you. forward to this movie. I'm so excited. I am too. I appreciate that you guys came out for it, really. Oh, totally. well, it was great. And it was two years ago. Two years ago. With, with a short one. one. So I definitely have a connection to you. Are you still making shorts or are you just making... Yeah. Right now I'm focusing on features. Shorts are awesome, but features are more gratifying. I could totally see you on location.
Yes. In a feature. I so, oh, we're, we're anything in the future that our viewers can keep up, keep their eyes peeled out for? We're actually uh, looking into. There's been interest in doing a TV version of Dear Little Lima, so that's oh. very exciting. And then also, um, like a bigger, uh, bigger <laughs> and a family comedy. Oh, nice! I'd like to see you do comedy. That should be fun. Yeah. Would you ever want to make films about like Iranians or the Iranian experience? I do. I want to do a film about my grandmother. Oh yes, you've but mentioned that. Definitely, I want to have a base that of course uh, enables me to do that in a way that maintains the integrity, and I don't have like you know, Miley Cyrus playing my yes. You never do that. Yeah. <laughs> don't so. say never. Hi. Thank you. Thank you.